What is going on guys? DBG here and today we're going to be talking about a card that suddenly seems so irrelevant. Like we've already gotten our Bob Pettit. Like how many power forwards did we get today? Let's be real. We got way down. We got one. Maybe Cincy and Bailey Howe can play there. Both of them can probably play there. Since he's got the massive, got a big enough player. But, oh, no, actually he doesn't. Let's just say we got Wayne Embry. We got Paddock. We got Kemp. We got Nedelicki. We got Dolph. We got Mikan. All power forwards. So this card suddenly seems so irrelevant, doesn't he? But we're going to be talking about the beyond level 40 Sean Kemp. And it was such a funny one. Like everyone I know was planning on where they were going to run Kemp. I remember someone was like, oh, Bam's not going to make my squad because, well, I got Kemp. Or I already have like AD and Kemp, or I already have AD and Duncan, and I'm the same spot for Kemp. I don't know if Kemp has a spot in most people's teams now, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter because Kemp is a technically free card. Kemp is a free card, and if you want to get this guy for free, you're going to be getting a really, really good player. So, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 89 three ball, 30 shot IQ. The fact he's got 25 intangibles and 30 shot IQ is scary. That means he like he's a 99 overall, by the way. The way the game is, he's got clamp breaker, quick first step, chase and has pogo stick, rebound chaser, doesn't get challenger, doesn't get glove, but he does get clamps, does get interceptor, and he gets like anchor box at beast, which are the ones that matter. Obviously not gonna dribble the ball too well, but he still will burn people out in the first step. Limitless range, he doesn't get, he gets blinders, catch or two, claim more. So he has a lot of the good badges. I'm trying to think, is there any key badges that he doesn't have that you might want other in range? I mean, you can give him clutch shooter, you can give him comeback kit. But he does come a bully, fast, switch, fearless finisher. In terms of animations, he still has that really good release that he has. He's not going to dribble at all. Still got the normal leaner. So my big thing is how much better is he than the diamond? I don't have the diamond. I kind of wish I did get the diamond. I wouldn't have thought that only giving them plus 110 total stats. I mean, badges must mean everything would be the difference of four overall. Especially with, like, where they give the stats to. Um, so he's got that plus nine three-pointer, which does matter. He's got plus five speed, plus five acceleration. Um, plus seven speed with ball, which doesn't really matter. Defense is quite a bit better. A much better block. Same tendos. Um, but he does get clamp breaker on Hall of Fame compared to none, which is big. Because again, on the off that first step burst, you can go by him. Um, so he's definitely a lot better. He's a lot better. Like unlike Mitchell, like with Mitchell, I have silver range on my Diamond Mitchell, and I genuinely just was playing around, was messing about with Diamond Mitchell, and it felt the exact same. Like Diamond Mitchell felt the exact same as a uh, as his Opal. Like I was playing with both them, using Opal one game, Diamond the next game. I didn't notice the difference. Maybe against a better player, I would. But, like, they felt the exact same. Whereas, Kemp is going to be noticeably better. Like, Kemp is definitely going to be noticeably better than the previous version of him. So, uh, he's going to be good. But, we have to compare Kemp to, like, Dolph. Like, if we compare Kemp to Dolph. Dolph has got minus two total stats. But, let's see where the stats are. So, Kemp's obviously got way better driving dunk. Dolph is better at everything defensively, except for interior. Um, Height-wise, Kemp has the advantage. Release-wise, Dolph has the advantage. Dolph definitely has the advantage with that. Um, dribble style, Dolph can actually move a little bit with the ball. And badges-wise, Kemp's got better interior ones. Um, you got better post ones on Dolph. But again, they all are golden halves that are pretty good. Um, Dolph obviously is more of a popper than Kemp. Kemp's going to go to the basket a bit better. But also Dolph comes with half range, which makes him probably the most dangerous hopper, popper in the game. So Kemp versus Dolph, I think it is a debate. It is definitely a debate. I think I would still probably go Kemp. Kemp versus Bob, however. Um, Bob Nedelicki, defense just doesn't matter. Bob's better on defense. Bob is a better shooter regardless of the three-point shot because he got O'Shea Brissett release on quick. Going to the basket, Kemp is way better. Like, um, things not no slouch, Bob, but Kemp is better. Um, athleticism, Kemp is a lot quicker. Kemp is a little bit bigger in terms of player build. Hot zones, uh, again, I'm pretty sure this is glitched that they all just show the same. Um, Bully is a huge badge difference. Clamp Breaker is a good one, is a big one as well, but you do get range on Bob. 
you get a lot more defensive badge. You get every defensive badge on Bob. So I'm going Kemp or Bob. I would say Bob's probably better. But um, that is, like, that's probably what I would have to say. But, but, that being said, Kemp is a freaking beast. Like, he is a beast. He's so good. Like, if I was, I'm comparing him to guys that everyone's calling demigods. Like, everyone's calling this set demigods. And you can make the argument that Sean Kemp is the best power forward we've gotten today. And if you've been keeping up with your cards, if you've been keeping up with your cards, Kemp is a beast. Kemp is an absolute beast. Like, you're looking at, arguably, depending on, you're looking at someone you could argue is the best power forward in the game. So I am very much on the uh, on the fence of um, I'm very much on the side of like Kemp is a beast, and the fact that he's free, he's not a crazy crazy grind. But if you've been keeping up beyond level forties, you're getting an incredibly good card. And even the cards are like, oh, he's outdated. No, he is not. You can easily make the argument. I've been showing you guys the stats. Because of the dunking, Kemp is probably better than both of these guys. Both of these guys are better than George, Mike. And... Kemp's probably better than AD. Like, you're looking at, for the best power forward in the game, Sean Kemp, Anthony Davis, freaking, um, trying to just think of names, Sean Kemp, Anthony Davis, Bob Nedelicki, Dolph Shays, George Mike, and Dwight Howard, Tim Duncan, you can make a debate with any of these guys, and Sean Kemp is in that conversation. So for anyone who's got who's about to get this guy, you've got a freaking beast on your on your hands. Um, you have got a freaking beast. Um, so yeah, for anyone who's a little bit annoyed that we didn't, I I'm, I want to check the comments see if people are annoyed. Much better. Okay, he's good and better than Bam. He's way better than Bam. Okay. Okay, people are actually happy. So yeah, this is Sean Kemp, a really, really good card. He is somebody that I would, I'm not gonna get because do I feel like he's enough better than Bam? Do I feel like he's enough better than Nedelicki or anything? No. I feel like he's better. I don't feel like he's enough better for me to like go out and get, subject myself to getting Trey Young. Because that guy is a bum. Um, But at the same time, I'm a, I am happy about getting. I'm happy about this card. I'm happy for anyone who's grinding for him. He's going to be a really, really good card. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.